Hello everybody, you're watching the Haunt Channel, I'm with UVB Halloween. And today we are unboxing um, a really cool item actually. This is a Morbid Industries Distortia. I got this off of Mercari for around 90 bucks, which is pretty good to be honest. Um, haven't opened it yet, obviously, but we're about to do that now. Um, so yeah, it's going to be very exciting to see this item in person. Yeah. And, yeah, um, I think this is, like, the only video of her. Yeah, okay, like, she's not, like, there's obviously, like, much more uncommon morbid industries props. But, like, this is gonna be, like, the first actual video. There have been other photos of her. But, yeah, video-wise, this will be the first. Yeah. She looks so weird. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, like... Okay, when I get her out, um, I'll sh obviously show her, and then, yeah, um, because the released models definitely do look, um, I'd say, not, okay, not horrible, but they do look pretty bad compared to the, um, prototype. Yeah. But I, I will say, she's not a disappointment, she won't be a disappointment, though, it's just kind of disappointing that happened, but overall, she's not a disappointment. Yeah. The pupils are probably the reason why she looks so weird. Yeah, and honestly, most industries pr prototypes, at least, they look um, more like almost professional than the released ones, which is kind of sad. But you know, the released ones are still cool, yeah, nonetheless. Yeah, they gotta do that for the marketing. Yeah. All right. I can't miss you. All right. All right. Uh, oh, I guess I and then it should open. All right, just... All right. So I have not looked in the box right. yet. Um, just gonna do it this way so I don't show the address or anything. Moment of truth. All right. Yes. Go. Ooh, she's in a bag. Oh. All right. Um, I'm gonna. I'll be right back because I want I'll show you guys up close to her before I actually take her out. All right, so first look at the box. She's in a bag, and I see her arms. I have not yet seen her face in person, but we're about to take a look. at They are actually a pretty good latex. They're about they're actually like um, I know not everyone's seen it in person, but they're kind of like goblin dude latex because I own him. All right, let's see. I get her. Pull her out. Oh wow. <laughs> Wait, who is she sculpted by? I don't. Sculpted by? I don't know her sculptor, but I feel like it might be the person who made Deadline. Yeah, probably. But yeah, she's actually a little bit bigger than I thought she'd be, to be honest. She's in this. Yeah, and um. I'm pretty sure this is common with Mercari. The um the sellers most of the time they um ship pretty fast. So yeah. This is my second time getting an item off Mercari. The uh, first time I got a brain fry and let's just say um they sent me the wrong item and Oh yeah, that didn't go well. Yeah, it didn't go well because they sent me um a like a Jason toy by NECA, which um I mean I like it. Ooh, we gotta send the clown honey here. <laughs> But anyways, like I was saying, um, they sent me a Jason toy, but I mean, it's still cool. I was going to get Brain Fry, but the seller had a mix-up order. But he, um, th we just didn't want to go through the whole processing of getting it back and stuff. I can always find another Brain Fry. So the Mercari just gave me a discount for 21 bucks, which is what the Brain Fry was. So I got this for a discount, then I had the 21 to it, which was pretty good. Now, back to this. It looks like the bag's taped. So I gotta cut that up right back. All right, so I just got the bag open. Um, take her out. Wow. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, but it could be really creepy. Yeah, she's um, come. Okay, um, let me take her fully out. Um, get an overview of her. So, yeah, it looks like she um doesn't have her original tag but that's fine it's got some extra string right here i guess and then it has i don't know if this is original rope but there's this yellow rope that it hangs from um good latex yeah i don't know um i might need to talk to the morbid owner mark about this but yeah uh, it still looks it's still fine though um 
So she has just like a regular like I think it, yeah it's a wig that's glued just like most props have latex head latex arms um, and then like a fabric like dress here that is like it's supposed to be like this like a creepy effect it's kind of hard to see right now but oh yeah you can see it right here it's ripped a little bit it's meant to be like that and I actually fun fact about her is that I did see her in 2019 at a store called Halloween Connection but the thing was with that one yeah. at the time I didn't really know it was her but the reason was um she it was only the like the shoulders and the head like it didn't have the it didn't have the arms or the um the dress but yeah you can see that it's actually a wi the arms are wired to it and i don't know Wait, your arms have wired yeah you can actually like oh, yeah like i mean you can see like the dress can come off like for some reason with i'm glad i got this one with the actual outfit because like um this is common especially with deadlines and closet creeps they're always missing the cloth for some reason Yeah, I there was a closet creep on uh, eBay a few years ago that didn't have the cloak, and then there have been multiple deadlines I've seen without the suit, but I haven't seen like a deadline in person. There's a picture of a deadline at some store in Arizona, and it looks so stupid. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the um I don't know if I can really show it that well. I'm not really gonna fully take this thing off, but the there's wire right here, and it's connected to the um, body, so it goes up. And she does hang from a rope, as you can see. So yeah, um, good latex quality overall. The detail, like I said, is way different than the prototype, but up close, her veins, she has cool veins, um, fingernails, like they're painted like that. Um, there's red and blue veins, and then her face, obviously, the prototype is, um, it's not, yeah, it's more realistic. The eyes, you that you don't really see the pupils, and it's just more detailed overall. Like I said about most industries prototypes, they're like that. Um, a little bit squishier right here, but oh. Yeah. In well. Stock photo, it's more of like a pale type color, but the release model's like yellowish. It looks. Weird. Okay, I just realized something. What? It has a hole in it. Oh no. But I can easily fix oh, yeah. that. But um, here's the thing about some items. In some areas, not always the latex is going to be filled. So in, in like really squishier parts, like this is squishy, it causes a hole. But it's not that bad. I can easily just like glue that back up so it won't it will prevent it from spreading. But overall, this item is a little bit bigger than I thought, but not the biggest item overall. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to say anything, you guys can. Yeah, but if you put her in, like, the right lighting, I think she'd look good. Yeah. But, yeah, that's really all I have to say about her. Um, she's a cool award prop. If you find one for, like, a good deal, like, um, I'd say spend no more than, like, 150 on this item, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, she, she's pretty small, so I don't really recommend, like, spending too much. So, uh, I'm gonna show you, like, a close-up and overview of her real quick. Um, in better lighting, I'm sorry that the lighting might have not been the best earlier. But yeah, we're just gonna go through the quick details that you can see up close now that I got my flash on. Uh, yeah, you can see the veins more clear now. She's got red and blue veins. Um, and then they all go through, um, her chest and it's actually just like a bust. Um, yeah, it's just like a hanging bust and then they have the, um, the, the clothes on and then the hands are just wired and then the wire goes up there and they're connected to both hands in there You can actually pose them a little bit like you can make them um, Move up and stuff, but like yeah, but they're stuck together. So you can't pose like them individually. They basically have to stick together um, But yeah her nails there, which is interesting. They're pink with like black spots on them and then you can see more of the veins on her hand. Um, if you look, Morbid Industries Distortia up online, you'll see the stock photo of the prototype, which actually had way better detail and is better than this. But I still like her. Um, just kind of a downgrade from the prototype, but 
nonetheless she's still cool and she first came out in 2005 and was sold up until I think 2007 or 8 for Morbid when Morbid was called Morbid Industries uh yeah she has like some glossy look on her and unfortunately there is some uh dry rot there but I can easily just seal that up with some I have like good glue that can do that and I have some like latex um material that I can just put over that which is easy um, and then I don't know if this is original, this rope. I know she does hang, but um, I don't know if the rope's original because the yellow seems kind of weird, but I might be wrong about that. But this is the rope she came with, so it might be original, but I'm not 100% sure. And just the body is just a cloth, and then it has these shreds under the sleeves and down here. But the shreds are actually supposed to be like that, just supposed to add a creepy effect. Uh, so yeah. That's the um, Morbid Industries Distortia, and more um, prop unboxings will come soon, and more reviews, and maybe some demos, and more Morbid props on the way. Uh, and yes, just stay tuned for more videos. So uh, yeah, subscribe to UVB Halloween and Ascend the Clown Hunter. I want to thank them for joining me as well. And yeah, that's all I got to say, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.